years when they were saved by a goal from their goalkeeper against Plymouth four minutes into injury time. Jimmy Glass became an instant hero, Carlisle won 2 1, and instead Scarborough were condemned to conference football next season. They came in larger numbers than usual. Many were angry. If you wanted to know just how angry, you asked the regulars at the Beehive. We find out that we made a profit of 1.4 million last season, and we're in this situation, so. You know, it's, I'm pretty angry about it all. We're faced with it. We're faced with going to non-league football after 70 odd years in the football league, and it's just caught them. The question: Would these players allow football league membership to slip through their fingers, or would a new hero emerge? The new hero theory took a dent just after half time. Plymouth scored. Carlisle seemed down and out. There appeared no way back until, that is, David Bradwell, Captain Marvel, speculated and sent Carlisle into raptures. As it stood, Scarborough were still the survivors, but hope had returned, and with only moments remaining, this. Would you believe it? Jimmy Glass, a goalkeeper on loan from Swindon, playing his last game for Carlisle, had done it. When eventually he emerged from the mountain of Cumbrians who wanted to congratulate him, his first call was home to Mum. This is good, the winner came about. It's funny, actually, the first day I came here, I was talking to the goalie, and he said, "If you," he said, uh, "You could be the hero, Carl. I won't like not letting any goals in." I said, "I'm, I'm going to score the winner." I said it to him, "What's the gun?" He said, "If you're the winner, you'll be a free man of Carl." But the fact remains, the club's controversial chairman, Michael Knighton, may be the luckiest man in football today, but he still wouldn't win any popularity contests among the Carlisle fans. Of course they would want to lynch me. There's no question about that. That is their right. They're passionate. They love football. Uh, it's pretty unbelievable, isn't it, the way it's all turned out? I mean, uh, we've got four minutes of uh, injury time and uh, the players are looking absolutely drained and... To, to finish like that, I mean, it's just some, well, it's unbelievable, isn't it? The word fairy tale is overused in football, but this was a fairy tale. The fans had completed their great escape. Ian Doverston, Sky News, Carlisle. Football can be a cruel game, and this was no fair day for Scarborough. They knew if they won, they would stay up. But when Posh took the lead after only seven minutes, the McCain Stadium was filled with dread of the drop into oblivion. But then came hope. Before half-time, Scarborough were level. Darren Roberts with what looked like a priceless goal. Carlisle were also drawing at this stage, and if it stayed like this, they'd survive. Throughout the second half, there was no change. Scarborough were not winning, but nor were Carlisle, and that would be enough for survival. The final whistle was greeted with euphoria. Hundreds of fans invaded the McCain Stadium field. They thought they were safe. But Carlisle was still playing at Brunton Park. Most of the Scarborough fans didn't realise it wasn't all right now. The man in the wig brought the dreaded news that Jimmy Glass had scored his unbelievable goal at Carlisle. Joy turned to despair, to disbelief, as news spread among the Yorkshire fans. It was an unforgettable football story, but one Scarborough will not enjoy retelling. They're out of the Football League 12 years after joining it. And uh, there's confirmation, uh, Carlisle ending the season in 91st position with that dramatic win against Plymouth, 49 points. And the misery for Scarborough, they finish at the 92nd place in the Football League, 48 points from 46, which means that uh, 12 years after joining the Football League, they are returning to the